Hello, and welcome to week three of English 111 online, Shaw University, 2017, spring semester. Hope everyone's doing well. Now, I create these videos, these weekly videos, about a week in advance, um, just in case I get sick or something happens, then I'm not waiting for the last minute to do these. But, having said that, um, I'm going to encourage you not to work too far ahead. Don't start any weeks where I haven't created a weekly video because things may change. Okay, enough with the disclaimers. What are we doing this week? This week we're going to learn about description and why that's important, description in your writing, and you're going to begin working on the full rough draft or the full first draft of paper one. That is the goal. So to review why we're even doing this, we need to go back to week two for a minute. So week two, we learned about MLA formatting, which is very important. And we learned about the first assignment, which is the narrative paper assignment. Um, again, the narrative paper assignment, when you click on this, it brings up this thing right here. Um, the narrative paper assignment, basically, again, you choose between one of two options. Choose a time when you did something that took a lot of nerve, a time when you didn't follow the crowd, or a time when you set up your beliefs. Think about the details of the event. Okay, now remember that, the details. Okay. Or you can do option B. We all have memories connected to our experiences. Think about experience, you'll always remember. Picture the time, the place, the people involved. Try to remember everything you can about the experience. Okay. In both cases, you're going to write a story of an experience, okay? And you want to use details to make the story come alive. So it'll help the reader feel like they're there and they're experiencing or seeing what happened. The details, and that is the description. What? Yes. And we're going to learn about description. I'll show you how that's going to be in just a second. Now, remember, in this paper, it needs to be two to five pages in length, and it needs to be in MLA formatting. So that's the assignment that was, was given last week. Now, again, last week, all you had to do was write the thesis, which was just basically the first little, what is the paper going to be about? And that did not need to be in MLA formatting. That just needed to be, hey, submit this correctly. Okay. So that's kind of the assignments. Now, if we look back at week three here where we're at, well, how are you going to know about description? Well, there's a chapter in MindTap found under week three. Now, if you haven't been to MindTap yet, shame on you, okay? That is required for the class. And if you don't know how to get to MindTap, go watch the previous videos for this class because we're done explaining how to get there. But when you get to MindTap and look under week three, you'll notice there's chapter 16, okay? It's about description. You'll notice there's no quizzes for this week in... Um, mind tap so you're like oh well how's he going to know whether i read this well it's going to be actually pretty simple to figure it out because you're going to be writing your rough draft of paper one and you need to use description so if you haven't read this about description then i will know that you're not um, applying those concepts to the paper you're going to be writing ah uh, see that okay now for this week i didn't give you any other assignments as far as quizzes because you have to write a full-blown paper the first draft Okay, now for the narration, so once you're done writing the full paper, again, two to five pages, then you would go to submit it here. Um, click on this, and when you do this, it'll show you a couple of things. Number one, it'll show you the rubric. How am I going to grade the rough draft? Well, basically for the rough draft, all I'm making sure is, you did you use MLA formatting? For the first assignment, the thesis, you did not need to use MLA formatting. For this one, you do. You need to practice using MLA formatting, then you need to make sure you do it exactly correctly, okay? Um, and I am very, very detail-oriented on this. You need to make sure you do MLA perfectly in order to get full points on this. Other thing is page length. It needs to be at least two full pages. That means all the way to the bottom of the second page, not just somewhere into the middle of the second page, okay? All the way, at least two full pages. So that's all you need to do to get graded on this. To submit it, you click on Add Submission, and then you can either click here and choose a file from your computer, or you could open up your little um, folder thingy. Yeah, that's the special technical term, folder thingy. And then just drag and drop it over and hit Save Changes. That's how you could upload that. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Now, that's the only part of what we're doing this week. Okay, now you hit Submit. I hit Cancel because I'm not actually going to upload that paper. So let's go back to Week 3 week three okay so now please note you're going to upload your paper into two different places what 
See the weekly video? That's what we're watching right now. Two different places. You're going to upload it there, and you're going to upload it here. So two different places. Not enough just to do it in one place. You're also going to load it into the discussion board. So for this, you'd click on discussion board. Okay. And you could add a new discussion topic. And then you would write in... Uh, narrative paper or, or whatever you want to call it um, this is my first draft of my narrative paper okay whatever capitalize those because it's a name of the thing anyway and then you would add an attachment same thing as before you could either just click on this and choose a file or again you could just find your file and drag and drop it and then you'd post it to the forum that's how you would do it okay so that's what you need to do this week why do we need to do that well i will show you because again going back to week three okay so you upload it there you upload it there because what's going to happen is i'm going to read over your paper and give you feedback and you're going to get feedback from at least two other students so you're going to upload your paper to the discussion board and then you're going to read two other papers from students and you're going to give them feedback. What kind of feedback are you going to give them? Well, it's right here, the peer review questions, peer review questions. So if you click on this, then it brings up this document. These are the questions. What's the title of the story? Blah, blah, blah. You can read through this. Okay, so basically you're going to read somebody else's paper and you're going to read these questions and you're going to respond um, to these questions about what they wrote to help them figure out what they need to do to make it better. Okay, so again, the concept here is you write your paper, you send it to me, I give you feedback, you also send it here. Two students, two other students will pick your paper, okay, and it's random, okay? Um, just You just pick two people. Now, you should pick someone who has not yet been picked, okay? And no more than two reviews should be done on each student. So if somebody has two reviews done, don't do it on anybody else. Okay, everyone should have two reviews done on them. Okay, basically, if you are the person and you put it in the third review, that does not count towards your grade. You get graded whether you review somebody else or not. So, when you see somebody's paper, make sure that nobody else has reviewed it. Okay, pick that. If you look and everyone, all everyone's been reviewed at least once, then pick one who's only been reviewed once. There you go. Okay. So, as far as the timeline of when things are done, read the description. Um, chapter in MindTap again. That's due by January 29th. You have until February 1st, which is that Wednesday, following Wednesday, to write the first draft of the paper, okay, and to post it here. So you're basically going to write one document and, and do it in two different places. Then you'll have a full week to do the peer reviews, which we'll talk about more into week four. So that's what's going on for week three. So yeah, the work, why I don't have any other quizzes or anything, because you're writing, basically writing a two to five page paper this week. Yeah. Uh, again, friendly reminder, do not wait till the last minute. Okay? Seriously. It is obvious the students who sit down at nine o'clock on Wednesday night to try to punch out a paper to two to five pages, because they are generally terrible, terrible. Okay? Take some time to write this first draft. The more effort and time you put into the rough draft, the better it'll be, and the easier it'll be to revise to make it better. Okay? So, that's the plan. All right, if you have any questions, please email me. Um, if not, go ahead and just get to work. And again, please do not work too far ahead. If you go to a week and I have not posted the weekly video, then do not start that week because you will not know what to do. All right, thanks.